Hey, looking for a way to slash your grocery bill in half? Do this every now and again. Maybe more now than again. Let's talk about this. Back in a minute. Welcome to the channel, Save Money and More with Jan channel. I'm Jan. Nice to see you. If you're brand new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have not already subscribed, don't forget to click subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell. How you doing? Thank you so much for being here. And if you've been here a really long time, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate every single person listening. You know, there are methods and there are methods to save money. There are methods to save money at the grocery store, which is really a great place of flexibility. All it takes is a little bit of pre-planning and, and you don't even have to knock your brains out. Listen to this method. By getting one, two, or three items and working with those three or four items, let's say for an entire seven-day meal period for dinners, for example. Oh my word. And you might be saying to yourself, but wait a minute, it's going to be so repetitive. Not really. This is where the creativity part comes in handy. Let's take, let's suppose that we saw that a whole roasting chicken was on sale at a really great affordable price. Naturally, if that's something you and your family enjoy eating, grab that. Or if it's a different kind of roast, for example, maybe it's a beef roast, a chalk roast, whatever it is that you can grab on sale that your family enjoys. Now, here's the deal. You make the original roast, right? Okay. And that night, serve it up the way you normally serve up a roast. Now, here's the other component to purchase. And I'm going to presume that your family enjoys fresh potatoes. I'll tell you one thing, whatever you spend for your fresh potatoes, you are going to get so much bang for your dollar. It is incredible. So many times, let's say a couple of pound bags are on sale, five pound bags, or depending on the size of your family, 10 pound, whatever deems fit for your family. Okay. So get the potatoes, get the roasted uh, chicken roaster, uh, get some uh, root vegetables, for example, like carrots, onion, and celery, okay? All those components. And if you don't happen to have bouillon, get a jar of bouillon cubes. I recommend that more than buying cans of broth. That's very expensive. Not only that, it takes up space unless you could find that on sale. But you get so much more value by buying bouillon cubes or that paste that so many people like. All right. Believe me or not, you are pretty much set for this week of dinners. Okay, so you make your original roast. You have it the original way on that night. You could uh, roast your potatoes around the chicken with the onions. That's the way my parents used to do that. And sometimes people cut up some carrots and roast that around it. Delish. Okay, great. Yummy. No questions asked. Now, the next night you might say to yourself, well, what else can I do with this chicken? Now, remember what you're going to do. And this is really, really important. After you use up your, uh, whatever you had that night, you know, that night for the roast. Okay, remember now you're planning on stretching this for the whole week's worth of dinner. So keep that in mind. All right. So don't have humongous portions of things. And then sometimes people don't even finish it. And that's wasteful. We don't like that. Anyway, all right. So what you do is you cut up your uh, remaining roast, make little packages of it. Some of them you could put in your freezer to keep it as fresh as possible. And then you have those components. Now, what you could do the next night, for example, okay, completely different. What you could do is you could turn around and you could take some leftover mashed potatoes or boil some potatoes because you got the big bag and make your favorite way mashed potatoes. You can make a chicken shepherd's pie. Okay. So you have the chicken and you can put your vegetables of choice. Maybe you want different vegetables. Maybe you have some peas and carrots in a can. Uh, for example, you could use that with your chicken and then layer the top with freshly done mashed potatoes bake that off, might want to shred some cheddar cheese on top of that. Yum. So the next night is a completely different meal. Okay. So next, the next night you want to make some chicken sliders, for example, what? Yes. Take down that package, one of the packages from the freezer, defrost it and then shred it up and then flavor it up with barbecue sauce and get your favorite rolls. And uh, maybe you just rather just have that night some apples on the side instead of carrots or just carrots or open up a can of 
green beans or something that you have in your pantry already, okay? So you could have some chicken sliders, yum. And another night what you could do is you could load up some baked potatoes with some chicken in there and some cheddar cheese or some other cheese with broccoli, cheese, broccoli, and the chicken load it up and make a slit down the middle and roast up and bake up some baked potatoes. Here we are working with all the same ingredients that you basically have. It's, okay, so you see where I'm going with this? Where I'm going with this is a great place. So as the week goes on, now remember, this is really important. In the beginning of the week, when you get your roast and you clean off your chicken, do not discard the bones. Do not, do not, do not, capital D-O-N-O-T, okay? Uh, take the carcass, wrap it up, put it in the freezer, keep it nice and clean, perfect. Then let's say towards the end of the week, make yourself a big old pot of chicken noodle soup. You know, that delicious, those delicious egg noodles. And you got your onions and you got your carrots and you got your sliced celery. These are all completely different meals. And of course, you got your chicken bouillon, which already we uh, talked about this. And save up all those bones and you could put everything together and you could stretch the rest of the week with soup and a sandwich. All this on just a few basic foods. Now, if you could do that and buy that for the whole week, do the math. See how low your grocery bill will become of that. I think that is beyond amazing. See, this is the thing that a lot of people don't realize. We have so much flexibility when it comes to grocery shopping for food. It's just about method. Now, a mistake that people make when they buy roast or roast chicken or roast uh, pork or whatever, what they do is they have the initial meal at night, but they're not planning ahead how much more they can get out of that roast, okay? And by the way, obviously, if you see something on sale, let's say that there's a roast chicken on sale at an insanely ridiculous price. And if you can afford it, if you have the cash to lay out, get two of those roasts. Throw one in the freezer for the future. So you could have like that kind of a, of a week where you're using few ingredients. You got them at a great price. You might combine them with a few things that thankfully you're sitting in your stockpile or in your pantry. Combine it. Another thought, people like to have chicken and rice. Okay, that's its own meal in and of itself. I'm just saying, it's just so, so good. You can come up with a lot of ideas. And, of course, chicken croquettes, which is an old standby, and a delicious favorite way to stretch out some of that chicken. I'm telling you, there are ways, and there are ways. We just have to be a little more creative and just take a minute. And it really doesn't take that much longer. Think about it. Because the main ingredient is that roast chicken. And how many times are you going to roast the chicken? Once you're roasting the chicken once, but you're getting so many meals out of it. Do the math. If you're interested in trying this method for one week, ask yourself, can you buy those ingredients and let it last and do different meals out of it completely every single night? Give it a whirl. See how much it saves you that week.